My brother-in-law gave my disabled little sister a brutal reality check which caused her to have a breakdown. My parents have three kids, Maya, me, and Sally. The problem is Sally, when she was born she had some form of medical condition which led doctors to believe that she wouldn't survive at all. But my parents never gave up. They spent all their money and time on her treatment and a miracle happened. She survived but now has brain deformities that impede her ability to socialize and she is completely unaware of anything but she is alive. Since then they have coddled Sally to death. Sally always had to have the best things and I had all the hand-me-downs which I didn't mind. But it sucks that I was the forever neglected middle child, but my sister Maya took most of it. Maya was the oldest in the scapegoat. For some weird reason, Sally was always in competition with Maya and I am sure my parents also pitted them against each other too. Maya was always supposed to behave and never complain while Sally was a brat. If Maya had a dollhouse, Sally had a bigger dollhouse. If Maya did something good, my parents would just say good job and go on about their life. But if Sally even won a participation trophy they would basically throw a party. Since then, Maya has been walking on eggshells around my parents. She would always be grounded and we cannot even complain that Sally has been bullying us because she has a special child. Sally was also awful towards me. She would often abuse me and even steal my stuff and my parents wouldn't do anything. And as I mentioned, Sally was always in competition with Maya. If Maya wanted to participate in music, she would too. I remember Maya saying in high school that she had a crush. What does Sally do, make out with that crush in front of Maya? My parents didn't even save enough for college for either of us, but luckily for Maya, she got on a scholarship. I had to take out a loan. The last straw for Maya was when she was dating this guy in college. She brought him home when they were on vacation. She caught Sally and him doing the deed in the basement. It was a shitstorm. My parents did berate Sally, but after a few days, they were like what happened just happened. It would be wrong to separate these lovebirds. That was it for Maya. She screamed at them that she had endured their abuse for all these years, but not anymore. She cut off contact. There was a lot of tension. Some of my uncles and aunts were divided. Sally was just as shameless as she was and went on to date. Maya's ex Maya eventually got over it and met a nice guy and got married. She did invite our parents but not Sally. My parents didn't go, but I did now. She is currently pregnant with her first child. My parents reached out to her and although Maya was skeptical, she agreed to reconcile. So our family has this big dinner once a year at their place where all the relatives and cousins are invited. Maya came along with her husband, Adam. Sally was also there with her husband, Maya's ex. Throughout the evening I noticed Sally tried to be closer to Adam, but he would just shove her off. When it was time for dinner, my parents made a toast. Then Sally stood up and said that she was so lucky to be here and that she almost died when she was young. Something she has said over and over for pity. She then redirected to Maya and said sis, I know it must be hard for you because your ex is now my husband, but thanks for the blessing. I know it must be hard for you to be here knowing how hard it was for you to compete with me. But I applaud your bravery. This was the moment Adam stood up and shouted at Sally saying how dare she insult his wife. Who does she think she is? Then the word vomit started. I am just paraphrasing it. You think you are so special because you were a miracle baby. Guess what? I was a miracle baby too. But I don't scream about it like you do. You are such a pathetic woman that the only achievement in your life you have is something that was accidental. What else do you have to show for? Everything you have was basically borrowed from my wife. Even your pathetic husband who spent the entire evening hitting on every female cousin in this room. You are so annoying. Even your husband doesn't like you. Do you know what the truth is? You have nothing and you are nothing. You are so shameless and pathetic that you tried to hit on me. You already got her ex and now you want her husband. I would rather die than be with a woman like you whose personality is worth a paper bag. You have always been jealous of my wife because you always knew you would never be as amazing as she is. That's why you stole from her because that's the only way you could have what she has. Sally was in tears.